Hi, welcome to a special edition of Education Matters. This is part of our eighth, a series of dialogue with eighth graders. We're talking to eighth graders from throughout the state about their experience in education during the pandemic and just education overall. In this session, we will be talking to students from Warren County uh, in Northwest New Jersey. So let's get right to it. Um, I've been saying this a lot and very often is that your seventh and eighth grade year was very different than most seventh and eighth graders. Uh, you had to deal with the pandemic. You may have been virtual at times. You may have uh, had to wear, you had to wear a mask. You also had a uh, social distance. Your life was a little bit different than it was particularly before that. So what were some of the lessons you learned during the pandemics? Maybe something you learned about yourself that you improved on. What were some of the challenges you found? And please introduce yourself uh, uh, for that. And we will start with Bridget. Hi, I'm Bridget Tiedemann from Belvedere School District, and I live in Belvedere too. Some of the things through COVID that were the hardest, I would say, was the adjustment to being virtual. And it was just, it was harder to learn being virtual because of there's obviously more distractions and just focusing was difficult too. Okay, did you learn anything? Were you about yourself during this? that you improved on? Yeah, I noticed that I need to be like in person is much easier for me. And just, yeah, that's really the most. Okay, what about you, Catherine? I'm Catherine Saloon and I go to Great Meadows Middle School. I live in Hackettstown. And one of the most difficult adjustments was I was fully virtual last year and I didn't really get the whole experience of seventh grade with the teachers and all the fun projects the kids used to do. And learning through the computer screen and being isolated was a test for my patience and how I could compromise and do projects by myself and learn by myself. Okay, oh, it is tough. Julia? Hi, I'm Julia Butita. I go to Stewartsville Middle School, but I live in Bloomsbury. Um, the most difficult thing over the last two years of COVID would be not having scheduled days anymore. So I found myself procrastinating my work till like late at night. Uh, but one of the positive lessons that came out of that was I learned how to manage my own time and fix my schedule to suit my needs. Okay. Uh, you probably didn't have a choice. You had to figure that one out. Rose, what about you? Uh, I'm Rose Lizer. I I'm from Hackettstown and I go to Hackettstown Middle School. Um, I was fairly fully virtual last year, so it was really hard, like not being able to like socialize or get the full experience of being able to like communicate with my teachers about my problems. Um, but it did help me become more independent, and like I think it really helped me grow. Okay, kind of a common theme. Peyton, what about you? Hi, I'm Peyton Doran. I go to North Warren Regional and I'm from Blairstown. Um, it was very difficult. Middle school is a very difficult adjustment as it is. So going into it virtual and all the different changes throughout the year was very difficult, but it taught me how you just have to roll with the punches and how much we need people to be with people in learning. And last but not least, Bella. Hi, I'm Bella. I'm from um, Pahakon School, and I live in Phillipsburg. One of the most difficult <laughs> adjustments was um, going virtual and then in person. Sorry, but the speakers were on. Um, the most difficult thing was going like in person and then going virtual because when I was home, I had many distractions, so it was difficult to like stay focused. Well, it looks a little similar for all, everyone, a little bit. That, that was a major adjustment for all of you, though it looks like you, you overcame it. Uh, not just you and your classmates had to make adjustments. Uh, everyone had to make adjustments, including the teachers. Um, have there been any teachers in your educational career that have stood out uh, and maybe made you a better student and made your educational experience a little bit better? It doesn't have to be the last two years. It doesn't even have to be a teacher. It could be a, another staff man, member. Uh, Bridget. Yes, there's one in particular. It's my social studies teacher, Ms. Vikas. She plays like, she helps you learn by so many different ways. She'll do some games and then she'll be 
really straightforward with it too. And if you need help, like with anything, if you're falling behind in any class too, she'll just want to help you and get to know you better also. That's great. Uh, Catherine? My fourth grade teacher, Mr. Ackerman, his class was very interactive and we had so many projects that I still remember. And I just remember learning a lot that year and he's my favorite teacher. Okay, Julia. Uh, my favorite teacher was my eighth grade honors English teacher, Ms. Underhill. She, her work was reasonable, but challenging. And I saw a big improvement in my skills throughout the year. She also helped me apply literature to like myself, to the world and to specific groups of people. Great, Rose. Um, my favorite teacher was my fifth grade math teacher, Mr. Whitehead. Um, he was always very straightforward, but he like really made learning fun for us. And like, I, he would never make you feel bad if you like needed him to review something. And he's the reason that I love math so much. So he's really special. It is good when a teacher makes you love a subject. Peyton, what about you? Uh, I actually have two from this year, Mrs. Yu and Mr. Hansen. They both have made coming back into school extremely easy, but also challenging in the areas it needs to be. They just, they make you feel like just awesome in every way. And they know how to like understand you and get you to know the things that you need to know to learn education. And Bella. The teacher that had the biggest impact on my education was Mr. Gary. Um, I had him for second and third grade math and he made me like math a lot more and made me understand it easier. Okay. Well, I'm going to have an assignment for you after this. We're releasing these in May. Uh, when you um, uh, see these videos and have a copy of it, please share it with the teacher that you talked about, especially because you're going back to second and fourth grade. They'd probably be really excited to know that you still remember them this way. Um, I'm going to ask your advice now. If the principal came up to you or the superintendent or anyone in the school position of leadership and said, how can we make our middle school experience better for more students? What can we do that would probably uh, help the students become better? Uh, so uh, Bridget? One thing I would say was sometimes teachers give a lot of work and sometimes just get caught up in your work. And I would say that the teachers would just check in like more often and see how you're doing and help you get caught back up. Okay, that's good. Good thought. Catherine. One thing I would add would be more projects like in fourth grade in Ms. Rackham's class, we did a lot and I still remember the lessons I learned. So if we do that now and still incorporated the lesson that we need into it, I think students will have a better time learning it while having fun and learning the lesson. You like that hands-on learning. Um, Julia. Um, I could agree. I think that in the classroom, I would like to do more hands-on projects and handwriting notes because as opposed to sitting in the classroom and you're still on your computer screen for all four of your classes. Yeah, it's true. Rose. Um, this isn't from my experience, like particularly, but I've like found it that people tend to like do better in school when they're given, like they don't, if they like think they're just having fun, then it's not, then they're, it's easier for them to like be passionate about what they're learning and they end up learning more. Yeah, well, when everyone was talking about their favorite teacher, fun came up a couple of times on that. A fun teacher makes learning easy. Uh, Peyton, what about you? I would say that after last year, a lot of teachers became um, into like uh, online learning and there's still a lot of assignments on computers. And I think it would be a lot better if we went back to more paper and stuff rather than just saying like, oh, go on Google Classroom and do this assignment. Interesting, that's interesting. Pay, uh, Bella. I would ask to have like longer classes for like music, art, Spanish, physical education, because some people exceed more in that than like normal classes. And it's a lot more fun and interesting. Okay, I love all your suggestions. Uh... Maybe one of you will become a principal or a superintendent at some point down the road. Uh, hopefully your, your principals will see this and ask you uh, for more details about that. Okay, the last question is kind of a two-part question. 
Uh, you're going to be graduating eighth grade, going to high school. Sometimes you may only have a slight building change. Uh, but what are you nervous about going into high school? What are you excited about going into high school? And then have you thought about your plans after high school? Are you thinking about college, the military? Or have you even chosen to feel like engineering or me medicine? So we'll start with uh, Bridget again. So in high school, I'm looking forward to seeing all my friends from the different districts that would be coming to Belvedere. And I'm pretty nervous for the sports though. And then after high school, I wanna to go to college, but I have no clue what for yet. That's okay. Uh, I think most of us were always in that situation. Catherine, what about you? Um, I'm really nervous about finding my way around the school and being social while balancing my classes, which I'm also nervous about. Um, I'm excited for art class and playing sports like volleyball and being social and making friends that I hope will last me in my life. And then beyond high school, I want to travel the world and take photographs and go to college and do fun stuff. I want to do that too. Uh, uh, Julia, what about you? In high school, I look forward to having different classes to suit my learning style, and I get to further explore my hobbies like soccer and drama through all the extracurriculars. Um, I'm a little bit nervous about all the extra sports and clubs I'd be doing and time management with grades and friends. Um, however, past high school, I'd like to go to college, though I don't know what I want to do yet. That's okay. That's okay. Rose, what about you? Um, what I'm most nervous about in high school is probably is probably like the, um the all the new people there that I have to because it's gonna I'm gonna like my relationships are gonna change, but I'm really excited about like being more free to make my own decisions about my classes and what I want to do, and like in the future I want to become a pediatrician. Okay, at least you have it all planned out. That's great. Peyton, what about you? Um, I'm pretty lucky because North Warren is a 7 through 12 school, so I'm not switching any buildings. So it's not going to be crazy different, like, um, social-wise and stuff. But I am nervous because I heard the workload increases majorly. Um, after high school, I want to go to law school. So I'm excited for that. Bella, what about you? For high school, I'm most excited for the maturity and then doing school with like most of my friends from ascending districts. And then I'm nervous about like all the people around, like how big the school is. And I hope to play sports like field hockey and softball. And I don't know what I'm doing after high school. Well, that brings us to the end of this session. Look, all of you, I think, have a good future ahead. You all have good heads on your shoulder. Don't worry that you don't know what you're doing after high school or what college. Uh, most people do not, and most people change their mind too. So I hope you enjoy talking to, listening to these students as much as I did, uh, the students from Warren County.